everybody, it's Eugene Lisho here, and I've got a new laser scanner. And with everybody doing unboxing videos, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do one too, what the heck. So this is the new Faro uh, S scanner, the plus scanner, if you wanna call it that. And um, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna check out what's inside. Got my knife. Don't need it that big. Let's see what we got here. Empty box. All right, let's see. This is the case, looking good. And I'm gonna just flick this open. Let's see what's in here. There we go. Okay, so uh, if any of you have ever had the pleasure of receiving a brand new scanner. I'm just gonna show you what's in here. I'll pick this up so you can just kinda see what's there. Um, let me see if I can still see that from here. Probably should, should be able to. I'm gonna point that down a bit. All right, so what the heck is in here? Let's have a look. So I got some paperwork. Nobody ever reads this, right? Uh, but I've got a calibration certificate. This is important. So uh, this particular certificate, I usually will scan them and I'll make sure that I save it. So um, it has some good information on here and I don't wanna lose this. I, I put this in a very safe place. So make sure you keep that um, in a really, really good place. And if I just go through what I have here, um, they give you some fluid for like cleaning a lens, you've got a, uh, a, a uh, SD card adapter. So this will do the, uh, the micro SD and the regular SD card. Um, this is a little housing for keeping extra SD cards. So if you open this up like that, you can do that or like that. So you just, oh, there we go, brand new stuff. So you just put your SD cards in there and you're good to go. All right, obviously the scanner's here. I've got a battery here. Uh, these are the new batteries and I've got the charger or part of the charger and I've got another charging battery charger here. So this just goes in here, right? And then make sure these line up like that. And then I have to make sure that I've got, and that's new. I haven't seen that before. I'll get back to that. So that's part of the charger. This is the electrical part. So basically plug this in like that. Plug this part into the little mini charging cradle and then we're good to go. So I'll have to do that. Make sure that my battery is fully charged. Um, this is the mount. So this has to be installed. This has to be installed at the on the bottom of the scanner. So, and I'll, I'll talk about that because that's probably the, the thing that maybe uh, gets people the first time. Uh, this is just like a strap for the electrical uh, charging cable. And this looks like it is a light. So that's something that we didn't have before. I got another charging thing. I got some cleaning uh, tissue for the uh, mirror that's on here. I'll be honest, I try not to touch the mirror and I kind of leave it and I try to keep it as brand new, sparking clean, keep it out of dirt. Uh, I also have some, uh, some hex wrenches, some people call them Allen wrenches. So I will need those. Uh, there's probably a couple more in here. So first thing though, uh, let's pull out the scanner here. I'm gonna take this little light and see what that's about in a second. Let's pull this out. There it is. So that's the scanner. I have this little protective foam cover over the lens. So that's the lens. Don't want to touch the mirror part, so we want to kind of keep that, uh, keep our sticky fingers off of that. All right, so I can just leave this on here for now. That's not a problem. So it's underneath here. This is the, uh, obviously where you would adapt to a tripod. And so there's different sizes and different ways to do that. Uh, there's a, a main center bolt. I don't remember the size. It's like three eighths or five eighths. I can't remember right now, but it's larger than a quarter 20, which is a standard tripod for like a camera that you would have. So I'm just gonna put that upside down. Um, so basically this, if I loosen this up a bit, okay. This, this part here will go onto the tripod and this part here will go onto the uh, scanner itself at the bottom. So this is gonna be important. I have four bolts here 
and uh, I'm gonna have to put that in. So let's get to it. I'm gonna get some, uh, make sure I got the right tools to screw this in, and this is what we're gonna work on next. Okay, so the way that this is gonna work is I've gotta loosen these bolts that are up on here with the Allen key or the uh, hex wrench that was supplied. So I'm just gonna loosen these up and that will loosen this part that's up here. And uh, I just have to screw it in there and this part here will sort of squeeze onto this little piece that's over here and basically it'll get installed. So let's get to this part. Now when I tighten these up, I tighten them from opposite sides, little by little. I don't want to over tighten this, but I just want to make sure that they are snug. So I'm going to go like this. It's still feeling pretty good. All right, that's good. So I can pick this up like this. That's definitely holding now, so that's in the right position. Now you have a choice on which side you want to put this on. I don't have a preference. Um, some people like to put it on one side versus the other side, um, but I'm okay. But normally when I put it back in the case like this, I try to keep the little knob up here that tightens it up on the upside. Okay, uh, this part here, I actually have uh, already installed on another tripod, but I'll just go grab it and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it right here. Um, so what you can do is, uh, there's just a center bolt you put down into the tripod and then you bolt this little piece down. So this, is where the scanner is gonna sit on top. There's a little lip here, and when you tighten it, it sits nice on here. So let's put that up on here so you can see it. All right, there we go. Take this up and put this up like that. Okay, there's a little compartment under here. I'm gonna open it up. So there's no battery in there, so I'm definitely gonna need a battery. All right, so let's see. How much power or how much juice do I have? I don't know, I'll have to see. But um, I'll just put that in there, close it in. And I'll also need a little SD card, which was in here, right there. It's a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I'm good there, like that. And that's it, and I just gotta hit this, press and hold. It starts flashing and then it'll come up and you'll see the screen here start to fire up. So I'll leave that there for you. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go plug this in and uh, see if I can get another battery charging. Okay, well, looks like it just booted up, so we're okay there. Now I'm gonna turn this this way so I can have a look at it. Um, it's a new scanner. Everything looks pretty normal to me. Uh, what I'll do is, um, maybe after what I'll do is I'll bring the screens up on the computer and then we'll see what's uh, different or what's the same here. Um, now, one thing that is interesting was this little guy right here. And so um, what I can tell from this is, is that it looks like a little light. So now I gotta figure out which side this goes on and I think it just sits up on here. Now on the top of the scanner, there's these little ports and if you press on this little piece of plastic, one side will come up. Um, now I don't know which side is which because there are two different ports on the scanner. So let me bring that up. Um, let's see, looks like this might be it. It looks like, and I just push that in. Oh, look at that, there's a light on there. I think you can see that now. And I believe that if we get this scanning, this thing should flash. So why don't we just do a quick test and see what happens right now. We're just uh, in a default. I'll just do a really quick scan. Um, yeah, that's fine. And what I'll do is I'll go through the menus later, but don't lose this little cap on the top. I'm gonna put it back in here. I don't wanna lose that. Um, and let's just do a very quick scan, low res. And I don't want any photos right now. I'm just gonna shut that off. Let's see what happens. All right, there we go. Let's scan. And is that light going to flash? Yes, it is. I like that. All 
So if you look over here, looks like we've got something on the screen. Uh, looks like it's operating okay. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put this uh, remotely on the computer so I can see the screens and menus and then bring it up. And I just wanna check to make sure that uh, everything is the same as before or let's find out if there's some kind of new features. So let's check that out. All right, so I'm at my uh, computer here and I've connected to the scanner. Now the way you do that is, well, first off, you have to connect to the scanner. So whatever the serial is of your scanner, uh, make sure you connect to it and put in the code that's uh, displayed in the scanner. Uh, if you want to know where that is, you can go to general settings. Let me go back. Maybe I'm going too fast. Manage and then go to uh, general settings and then go to WLAN. And over here, you'll see what the password is. This is the default password. So, and you have to have, make sure that the uh, status is on and it's at uh, access point. Okay, so that's important. Once you do that, you just type in the uh, IP address of 192.168.43.1. That's up in this area. And it should connect and come to this screen. So I just want to have a quick look here and try to figure out what may be different right now. Uh, with this updated scanner. And if I just look through these uh, menus right now, you'll see it says Swift Details here. So this is new for me. And if I click on that, okay, so this is obviously the uh, the Swift. So that's uh, where you couple the scanner with the scan plan and you can have like a little mobile mapper. So uh, I don't have that and I'm not uh, familiar with it just yet. So I'm gonna have to leave that. Just looking at general settings, most of that looks okay projects and stuff looks pretty normal too so not not too much new in that regard i may have missed something but i'm doing this kind of quick uh, other stuff here on the main screen let's have a look in scans so i just did the one scan of the office and you'll see it says ferro scan 000 you've literally seen the very first scan on this particular scanner and that is of my office so scan number one right there and you got all you all got to see it i am going to go under parameters and have a look over here. So these are the profiles. I don't think there's anything. No, nothing too special there. That looks the same. I'm going to go to resolution quality. Okay. And I don't see much there, but let me go to half res. Ah, on half res, we have a setting here that says half res quality. So at um, one half resolution and one times quality, we're at four minutes, 11. If we go to half, re, uh, half times quality, this looks new, two minutes, 24 seconds. And if I go to one to one, and I have one here too. So we can get uh, one to one resolution scans. Uh, it looks like it's uh, in a speed uh, improvement here. So uh, these two look new. These resolution options are the same as before. I don't see anything different there. Um, 132nd, that looks the same. So it looks like the two new things here are gonna be the speed on the uh, plus model. So we've got the half at uh, one to one and one half, the quality setting goes down to a half and that'll give you more uh, data uh, faster, I should say. And here, that's just the resolution or the, excuse me, the, the window that you wanna scan, nothing there. Sensors look the same and scan with color. You can put that on. Let's look at this. That looks good, HDR mode, night mode, and also have speed mode. And so whenever you're using the camera, I would put this on and definitely uh, save uh, some time there. Advanced settings, that looks normal too. Okay, now one thing that I haven't done is check for firmware update. And I've, I've got a video on this that I put on before, but basically what you're gonna have to do is go to the general settings under WLAN here, you're going to have to change this. So what you have to do is you shut this off status and then you can change the mode. So you can go from access point, you change it to WLAN. When you change it to WLAN, you can then hook up to your Wi-Fi or whatever. And that's what you need to do first. So if I shut this off now, then I'm going to cut the connection with the scanner. So I'm not going to do that. It's on access point now. And I would want to go to the other where it actually connects to the internet via my Wi-Fi. Other things that we can do here, if I go back, uh, under service, you'll see I have firmware update. So if I go to firmware update, it says search for updates now and enable online updates. Make sure this is on. And uh, when you search for the updates, uh, obviously you have to have the other configuration. So not on access point, but on WLAN. And then when you search, uh, it should potentially work 
and here this should be set to the default so that I think that's okay and if not you can probably find the link online and then put it in there but well, the great thing about this is that it does it automatically which is fantastic it downloads everything installs it it's very very simple now you can do it also from the SD card but when you get a new scanner sometimes depending where it is on the production line and you get it you should always check to see if there is a new update. So I'm not going to do that now uh, because I have to switch the mode. But I think that's basically it. Just very quick setup with the scanner and, uh, you know, did the first scan. I've got to do more testing on it. I'm going to check the accuracy to my other scanner and just do a couple of things with it just to get comfortable and make sure that there's, uh, you know, a, a good feeling on my part that, you know, I feel good that I can start using this in my work. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. That's it. Unbox the new scanner. Got it set up real quick and it is scanning. So I'm a happy camper. Take care. Bye-bye.